Hi guys and welcome to this two minutes tips video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get some extra performance from your KVM OSX Hackintosh. A while back I got asked on the Lime Tech forums why I exposed some additional CPU features in the XML. So when we make an OSX VM, as you know, we have to emulate an Intel Penryn CPU for any OSX system from Sierra and onwards to boot. But it's old and it doesn't support some of the newer features of newer AMD and Intel CPUs. So we can pass through additional CPU features to the guests, yet have OSX still boot thinking it's a Penryn. And so this can really help with the performance of our OSX VM. But before I show you how to pass through these extra features, let's run some Geekbench 4 benchmarks so we can make some comparisons. Let's take an AMD Ryzen 1500X machine. First let's look at the 1500X as a bare metal regular Hackintosh and I got a single core score of 4250 and a multi-core score of 15469. So let's compare that score to a regular KVM OSX VM without any additional CPU features passed through. And this time I got a single score score of 3670 and a multi-core score of 13196. Now it is to be expected that a VM will not have the performance of bare metal, but the difference shouldn't be by so much. So let's look more closely at the scores we just got. And we can see here that the AES scores are very low, single core being 195 and multi-core only 922. So this is really letting us down. So now let's add some CPU features to the XML. So here's my XML for my VM. And the line we want to look at is this one here. And the additional features that I've passed through are AVX, AVX2, AES, XSAVE and XSAVE OPT. And so now with these features passed through, as none of them were part of the Penryn chip, it should theoretically improve our performance. But before passing through any features, make sure that your host CPU supports them. And here are the Geekbench scores for these features passed through. Single core is up to 4028 and multi core 14101. And looking at the scores more closely, we can now see with AES passed through, well, that score has really increased. So it seems that if your CPU supports these features, then pass them through to give your OSX VM a bit more performance. So that's the end of this two minute tips. Well, it went a little bit over time, but not by too much. And if you liked it then, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you really like what I do and you'd like to support the channel, then any donations are really appreciated, which you can do through the PayPal or Patreon links in the description or the channel homepage. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.